Following last week's episode up, today we'll dive into our first era, the Peloponnesian War in Ancient Greece with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm Peaceful Panda, your substitute teacher for this video, as What's Up, who usually runs this series, is on holiday, and in this video we're zooming into the story, the historical figures, and every relevant myth from this era to give an overview on what we're going to be covering. Afterwards, it's up to you to let us know what you would like to see next. The major part of the folks will lie in the myths, as these are the most interesting. Mythology was considered by the Greeks as part of their history, which totally makes sense, as we've all fought Minotaurs and every person at least once had been turned to stone by Medusa. No? That's just me then? Mom, you lied to me! Assassin's Creed Odyssey takes place in 431 to 404 BCE during the Peloponnesian War. Greece at the time was divided into the mainland, a peninsula and an archipelago. The peninsula is called the Peloponnesus, where the majority of the Peloponnesian War takes place. Being the eldest child of Spartan general will play as either Alexios or Cassandra to fight in the war between the two leading city-states in ancient Greece, Athens and Sparta. While the Athenians had the larger fleet, the Spartans had the bigger army and the conflict of political ideology sparked the flame of war, leading to a nearly 30-year conflict. Historical figures we'll encounter are Socrates, Plato, Pericles, while important figures like Leonidas and Homer are mentioned in the game. Socrates, founder of Western philosophy, was the enigmatic philosopher that lived between 469 and 399 BCE. He was born while Athens was living its golden years, but as he grew older he saw the decline of Athens, with the start of it being the Peloponnesian War. In game he will be a very prevalent character. Plato, student to Socrates and well-known Greek philosopher, lived in Athens during his lifetime in 428 to 348 BCE. He was the first to establish a university in the Western world and he was the teacher of Aristotle. But Plato had little involvement in the war as he traveled the world after Socrates was sentenced to death. Pericles was the most influential Athenian statesman of ancient Greece. Born in 495, as he was most influential before the Peloponnesian War, but as he led the Athenians as a general during the first two years of the Peloponnesian War, he met his demise in 429 BCE when he died of the plague. Leonidas, the legendary king of Sparta, lived way before the Peloponnesian War even started, 540 to 480 BCE. Little is known about his life, but he was believed to be a descendant of Hercules. He is best known for his battle against the Persians in the narrow passage of Thermopylae, as he, 300 Spartans and 700 Thespians, stayed back to fight the 80,000 Persian soldiers. Although he died far before the Peloponnesian War, his legendary spear, or at least part of it, has been passed down to us, as we'll be able to use it in-game as some form of legendary weapon. And arriving at the last relevant historical figure, Homer, the epic poet, will make a transition to the myths and legend of ancient Greece, as Homer was the one to write the epics Iliad and the Odyssey. The Iliad was written in 24 books and talks of Achilles' wrath and its consequences for the Trojan War. The Iliad is filled with references to the gods and creatures of Greek mythology like Apollo, Zeus and Ares. The Odyssey, the second epic, was also written in 24 books and follows Odysseus as he journeys home after the fall of Troy. In the 10 years it takes him to reach his home, he'll fight the Cyclops, get seduced by the Sirens as his crew gets eaten by the Scylla, the six-headed monster. He sails beyond the Charybdis and finally gets punished by the gods of the seas, none other than Poseidon himself. Too many myths to get into right now, we are still missing a few that are confirmed in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, as it isn't just sticking to the lore of the Odyssey. Medusa and the Minotaur show up, being respectively part of the Perseus and Theseus myths. The myths and legend of ancient Greece are almost endless, and combining that with what we don't know, what will happen and what won't be appearing in the game, makes it impossible to list everything. However, we have presented you the story, historical figures and quite some myths, gods and mythological beasts. What story, myth, mythical beast or god do you want us to cover first? Let us know in the comment section down below. That concludes this video, and I'll be leaving you accordingly. Peace out.